Good morning, friends. Hope you guys doing well. So before I start, just a small request. Please do subscribe to my channel and do like this video because it motivates me to give you a better content every day. So today's top news will start with crude oil. Now there was a big drop in the crude oil prices. It reached to around 112.6 that by the time I'm recording this video because there is an added pressure to the oil price as people are thinking and the analysts are thinking and now there will be a recession in US, Europe. So there will be a slack of demand in oil. Now the, because of that slack in demand, the oil is falling currently, which is somehow is a good news for India because we are the one of the largest importer of crude oil across the world, correct? And that is higher crude oil price directly add to the higher inflation. Now, if you want to tame down inflation in India, crude oil, crude oil is the only game we can play it and which is the major game because most of the part of inflation is due to the rise in crude oil. Okay. But however, this current oil marketing companies like HPCL, IOC, BPCL have written a complaint to the government because you know, they are suffering a loss of almost around 20 rupees in diesel and also almost 14 rupees in petrol because of these higher oil prices. And the thing is that have to keep a cap on the oil price. Okay, the petrol price where what they are charging at the pump. So because of that cap, they are not able to increase the oil price and as a result, that actually margin is suffering. Now this is what is actually pro creating a problem for them and their margins are going down. So of course government has to think about it. The problem is the government currently cannot increase the rate as such. The reason is simple because if they increase the rate, then they have to increase the, uh, because of that, there will be increase in inflation also. So that will create a problem. That is why government is not willing to increase the petrol prices. Actually, you know that they have cut down the excise duty and all that. But however, then also it is not helping the oil marketing companies to uh, know gain any profit. Actually, they are suffering losses because of high oil crude prices across the world. Again, the discounted oil from Russia is coming, but it is coming slowly. Somehow, like a BPCL, HBCL been denied to source uh, discounted price from Russia because Russian uh, government told that currently they don't have a, that type of stocks to provide you with the discounted oil. So that was related to oil price. Now, yen tanks almost at the lowest level when Bank of Japan told that they are going to continue with the stimulus policy. Now just understand guys, the whole world is now increasing rate because of the high inflation and everything. But Bank of Japan told that our policy is very much clear. We are going to support economy, whatever may be. And that economy is in a big, big problem. And that's why they are from last decade, they are providing a stimulus and they are never stopping it. So that's why they are not changing the dates. And as a result, Rien is at the lowest level because you now all other countries are increasing rates. Again, one of the major surprises was that when the Sings National Bank increased the rate by almost 0 0.55, okay, 0 0.50 basis. Now that shows because Swiss bank normally does not increase their rates, but they are also started increasing that shows that the inflation is actually cover, covering covers uh, whole world and you know that in UK current inflation is more than 9% they've never seen this type of inflation this shows how vulnerable we are in the current crisis okay and also the, one of the main reasons as you know is the Russia Ukraine crisis from where it all started so even Bank of, uh, even UK government and also UK Central Bank is going to increase it. There is no option. So only Bank of Japan is the only developed country which and is not increasing interest rates. All are increasing rate. Even India is going to increase the rate. Uh, and that already RBI governors has given that yes, they are going to increase it as early as possible. So this is what happening across the world. And because of the recessionary fears are there and how much damage is need to be done at a stock market point of view, we don't know. But yes, currently situation is not so great. Now, US bond deal is around 3.23%. Okay. 
that is creating a big problem. See, under say anything above three percent is alarming. Now, when U.S. bond yield at three point three to three percent is there, no, then our debt at Indian level become less equity, even our equity become less equity because they are getting an assured return in that world, and again, no dollar is. Uh, strengthening. That's why there is such a big outflow of FII from India. If you talk about uh, last Friday only, FII sold around 7,800 crores. However, BII, domestic institutional investor, has bought around 6,086 crores. Some out offset the FII selling. But so FII over this month only, in the month of June, almost they have sold around 31,430 crores. Correct. So net outflow is around 1.98 lakh crores during this year only. Again, says yes, BII has almost you can say no, uh, covered up by almost 80 percent of against that flow. So BII is strong, and that is why we are sustaining at this level. But yes, FII is selling, and one of the major reason is. Uh, U.S. is getting stronger and stronger. U.S. dollar. I'm talking about. Even if you see the U.S. dollar index currently at 104.6, 104, 105 is an alarming level. And at the end of the day, now uh, you know that uh, against U.S. the INR is around 78.4 something. So that is also at the lowest level. So this is why uh, no, uh, actually asset is going to the developed countries compared to. Developing country and one of the other asset class, Bitcoin, correct, has fallen almost below twenty thousand dollar. Now that is the lowest level from uh, you can say last two years. Last it was around uh, at this level was December two thousand. Now that is what no be and whenever there is a high inflation, now people get out from the risky assets and go to the safe haven, correct. So Bitcoin is considered as a risky asset and as a result it is falling a lot. So and that fall is having an impact in their exchanges also. If you talk about uh, Middle East, BitOS is one of the cryptocurrency provider, the exchange, sorry. We actually cut their force and they are cutting their manpower also. Even the one of the lender Celsius network in US actually freeze the withdrawal early last week so that uh, investor know actually it does not get into fear and earn. there is no not a big capitulation in the uh, cryptocurrency point of view now that is what now when the exchanges faces this type of uh, no withdrawal level that creates a panic among the investor now this is why crypto is not a reliable currency and that is why rbi is always telling that we are not in favor of cryptocurrency because it's not regulated and somehow if anything is not regulated you know, that creates a big problem for that government and also the central bankers and that's why one before investing also you now one has to be very much careful that what are the pros and cons of cryptocurrency because it is so volatile that you understand one thing in 20,000 has gone to 60,000 again it is gone to 20,000 such a big volatility in cryptocurrency and that is what uh, uh, it is it was actually a bitcoin so that is what uh, no problem for the investor when they invest in the cryptocurrency now talking about retail business across india it is been said that uh, we uh, we actually grown by almost 24 percent against the may 2019 that is pre covid level now that is a very good growth. Even the west, western region, western uh, area has grown by almost 30 percent, and also even the south eastern India uh, actually grown by almost 29 percent. So this is a very good growth that shows that yes, consumers are coming back after COVID crisis, and there is a good demand for retail across the India, and this will help the retail companies to build up their balance sheet and profitability now talking about tap top 10 most valued company has lost almost 3.91 lakh crore in the recent sell off in equities and if you talk about who, who lost the highest it was the major company that is tcs in reliance and why the reason is simple whenever fi wants to get out now majorly they have uh, actually invested in the large cap company so whenever they get out now they normally sell a big companies which which are in profit and tcs and reliance were in profit and actually given a good return that's why they are selling and they were getting out that's why there was a big fi selling in tcs and uh, reliance 
in current year, uh, in current few months, I am talking about. Now, Dinesh Khara of SBI told that current uh, capacity, economic capacity utilization is improved from 74% from 69%. Now, that is also a very good sign. That means manufacturing activity is coming back more and more. Manufacturing activity is running with the full capacity because at the end of the day, when the manufacturing activity activity does in a full capacity that shows there is a demand in the economy correct so this is what Dinesh Karatol and that is a very good sign and hope India market recovers from here but yes we understand that as and when interest rate will be rising from here there will be a problem in Indian economy but somehow Indian economy is quite resilient against the world economy because we, our internal consumption is so strong that it is supporting the economy and also now you know that from last one year DII has came in a big way domestic institution investor that is mutual funds institution and retail investor have come in the full force and which is helping the stock market to even stabilize at this level. Now Kale group is looking to acquire 10 percent of uh, share in Yes Bank normally the norm is that they can uh, uh, actually FPA can only invest up to 4.9% but with a special approval from the RBI they are going to increase their stake in Yes Bank but however this time instead of FPI they are considering as an FDI route now FDI route is always better than FPI FPI is nothing but foreign portfolio investor and FDI is foreign dom uh, domestic investor now that is what and the difference is that FBI is always for a short term. Now they may go back whenever there is a problem in the market or something, this type of crisis level, they may go back. But however, FBI is always for a long term. They come with a capital maybe 10 years, 15 years and more. And for an economy, FBI is much more better compared to FBI. FBI. The reason is now this help in building uh, nations, correct? No, big, big. Uh, what you say, technology uh, will come here, correct, good capital will come here, good knowledge base will come here from the western world. So that's why FBI is always better than FBI and that is what government prefers. Now talking about the progress of southwest monsoon in India, well it is quite slow. It actually, you know, May month was not so good. Now, uh, bond, uh, actually, Mac department is opening that it should pick up now. But this is very much important, guys. Monsoon is very much important because a normal monsoon gives a big relief from the agriculture point of view. If, and if there is a deficit in monsoon, no, then there is a problem. Reason is that then government has to get out, take out a large part, large part of pie from its uh, fiscal deficit to the farmers and agriculture department. So that's why. A good uh, monsoon is very much required and again see if there is a bad monsoon now inflation will go because then what will happen food prices, sale prices, everything now will, will touch the uh, rocket high correct. So that is why at that time we don't want and current time in a difficult situation we don't want this type of prices. That's why a good monsoon is very much important for an economy and the med department already predicted which I told earlier also that there will be a normal monsoon around 102 percent. Now hopefully that prevails and in the month of June at least it picks up because that is very much required now. Now talking about few acquisitions, small acquisition I'm talking about. Aurobindo Pharma acquires 51 percent stake in GLS Pharma and also supply acquires 21% stake in Achira Labs. Now, these are the small acquisition done by pharmaceutical companies, pharma, uh, Aurobindo Pharma and the Sipla. So, guys, this was all about today news. Hope you are liking this news and that's why I want you to comment below that uh, what type of news and what type of uh, analysis you want to get through me. I will try to make a video on that and also wanted to know what do you think about Indian economy. So do write your comment below. Also as I told you earlier also do like this video and subscribe to my channel and be in touch. I will see you soon tomorrow morning on daily news. Thank you.